Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a multi purpose hair growth recipe that you can add to your regimen. So, this could be used to grow longer, thicker, and healthier looking hair. It can also be used as a detangler, a leave in conditioner, a pre pre treatment, literally like everything. So, you definitely want to stick around, and I suggest you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it now before we actually get into the video i just want to say a massive thank you if you are a returning subscriber i really love and appreciate your support also guys please go ahead and turn your notifications on because i just don't know what's going on with the youtube algorithm nowadays so if you like to see my content definitely make sure your notifications are turned on so that you know when i post a new video now if you're new here and you like this type of content I do a lot of videos on natural hair growth recipes so if you're interested into that definitely be sure to click the subscribe button and join your family now let's hop right into the video now the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some flat seeds or brown lean seed i got this from amazon i will find find a link for you guys and link it in my description box in case you want to go ahead and get it so i'm using about half a cup of flat seeds for today's recipe now flat seeds helps to grow here a lot faster and also longer by providing nourishment to the hair full of cause. It also contains vitamin E which helps to nourish the scalp and reduces free radical damage so super amazing for hair growth. So I'm just going to add that to a little bowl or whatever it is that you will be using to make your um, your treatment essentially. Now the next one will be some Moringa leaves. Now Moringa is super super amazing for hair growth. It's a powerhouse ingredient to apply to your hair because it has a huge amount of minerals including zinc and antioxidants that helps to boost keratin production it also helps to restore the strength to your hair and promote hair growth and it helps to repair damage as well so i added two um i think about two teaspoons or tablespoons of um, moringa leaves now i'm going in next here with some ambunu leaves as well or ambunu herbs now ambunu also is super good it contains something called saponin which does help to um basically just cleanse the scalp some people actually use this as their shampoo someone told me um in the comment section before that they use it as, as a shampoo so i can definitely see why because it is super super amazing it also has antioxidant anti-inflammatory properties it helps to soften the hair thicken the hair and prevent dry scalp and also lessen hair loss so after adding these two to get these three together guys i'm now adding some water so i used about three cups of water but again you can add this you can increase this um to your preference if you want to so essentially um, we're just going to pop this on the stove and allow it to boil for just about maybe like five to six minutes not really for a long time but you need to be there so you can st uh, stir it um, because essentially if you leave it on its own it is going to boil over and the whole thing will pour on your stove so be there to check it so after it's done guys this is what it looks like you should have like a pretty much slightly thick and slimy uh, liquid before you turn off the stove now i suggest that you go ahead and strain it straight away while it's still hot um, the reason why that is is because it's just so much easier to do it this way obviously if you allow it to sit around for a little bit and cool down it will become really gentle in consistency which will make it a little bit difficult to um, to strain so just get your wig cap or whatever it is that you're using and just pour the mixture on it just because it's still in its li liquid form it is just gonna come out pretty easily and then you can allow it to sit and rest um, for a little bit or basically until it's cooled down so once it has completely cooled down guys you will get a pretty thick gel just like you will later on see it so at the moment it looks a bit jelly but it's still sort of liquid right um so this is what it looks like once it's completely cooled down you can see it's a lot thicker a lot more jelly like essentially so this is the consistency that you want to go for um or that i was going for essentially because i wanted to use this as a detangler um, so I'm also adding some oil to this. So this is one of my DIY hair growth oils um, that I made 
um, in the past and I shared it with you guys. It was just sitting around and I just thought I would add it to my DIY. But it's okay to use any other oil. It could be um, avocado oil or rapeseed oil or even just olive oil. So combine it together and then we're just going to transfer it into an applicator bottle. It makes the process of applying it to our hair so much easier and also um, so much quicker as well and it's also a little bit less messy than actually um, not using an applicator bottle so maybe I should if I had known from the start this wouldn't have ended with broken hearts cause I don't wanna waste my time no Here you have your gel or your treatment or your detangler, your leave-in conditioner, basically like all of these things. It's super simple and easy to make and that's it literally. You can store this in your fridge as well for over two weeks if you wanted to. It is super amazing or you can freeze it and just defrost it and use it. It will be again in this jelly form and it's just, it's just good essentially. What I normally do I make batches and I just store and use as, as in when it's needed. It saves me a lot of time. So in this part of the video guys, I'm just going to show you how you can use it. Just like I mentioned earlier, I will be using it as um, a detangler, but I also use it other times as you know a hair growth or sort of leave-in conditioner uh, that I normally leave in my hair. But in this instance, my hair uh, needed basically undoing. Um, if you watched the video that I posted yesterday, um, it was coming to the end of the hair growth challenge uh, that we've been on. Make sure that you check that video out guys because definitely the results of that challenge were super super amazing. And if you haven't taken part in the challenge, definitely go ahead and try it and try that recipe. It really works a thousand percent. I will link the video down below in case you may be interested. So essentially my hair is in braids, really old braids. It has been on my hair for like six weeks. So essentially I was just taking down my braids and sort of detangling my hair. Um, so if you are using it as a detangler, just like I'm doing here, it's pretty simple. So you just apply it throughout your hair, including your roots and your ends, make sure everything is nice and covered, massage that in nicely, and then you can just go ahead and use a detangling brush or your comb and just comb through. And I promise you guys, this, it literally melts the knots, the tangos, or anything that you may have in your hair, like literally. And the amount of shedding you will get after detangling your hair using this is literally like almost not nothing honestly it is just super super amazing because it gives your hair so much slip and it prevents you know any breakage or any hair loss or like unnecessary hair loss so it is super super amazing and i do hope that you guys go ahead and try this out the future is bright After detangling guys, I'm just going to go ahead and twist that part of my hair and then move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done. Now this thing is super super moisturizing, just like as you're working on your hair with this, you can definitely notice a huge amount of moisture already and the moisture stays for quite some time as well so it is super super amazing. So I'm just going to repeat that until the rest of my hair is done just like I said. Now just to talk about other ways in which you can use this as well just like I said before you can also use it as a hair growth leave-in conditioner so again you can use it exactly the same way as I'm doing here but instead of shampooing your hair after afterwards just like I will later on do um, you don't need to shampoo your hair essentially so you can just leave it in your hair and then you can repeat uh, the application throughout the week so maybe once once more or, or like twice more so essentially like two to three times a week will be a, a, a good time to use this. Now, if you're using it as, um, what is it called? People treatment, which is basically what I'm doing as well. Instead of shampooing your hair straight away, just go ahead and just leave it in for a few hours before you go ahead and shampoo your hair. So yeah, this is pretty much it really. 
it is just a super amazing gel also a treatment that you can add to your regimen pretty easily so i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching the video and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up guys it really helps my video out and um, like i said before at the beginning of the video i don't know what's going on with the youtube algorithm so please if you like my videos go ahead and give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it also share with somebody you believe could benefit from the video subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye